Hello, it is Saturday, December 2nd, 2023. I'm Chris Raymond. Welcome back to the New York Times Crossword Daily Solve. It is a Saturday crossword, so it may well be the trickiest puzzle of the week, but I did pop into the Daily Solve Discord chat server this morning, and it did seem that the overall opinion seems to be this isn't as tricky as some Saturdays might be. I hope that's the case because I actually have a fairly busy day today. So it'd be nice not to get stuck uh, in the Saturday puzzle for too long. And it seems like that might be what's in store. In any case, this hopefully not too tricky Saturday crossword has been brought to us by Quotidiophile, Overfull Hitbox, Jake Rodkin, and as always, the indomitable Showmaster and the incredible Horan family. So thank you so much to the five of them. They are benefactors of the Daily Self Patreon campaign, which means they sustain this series, they support this channel, they keep this whole thing going. I'm very grateful to them for that support. So thanks to those five, but thanks to everybody who's a patron of the Daily Self Patreon campaign. I really do appreciate your contributions. And if you'd like to contribute to the channel in that way, you can head over to patreon.com slash daily solve or click the link in the description field underneath the video. And uh, there you can find all of the bonus solves available to patrons that should very soon include this week's mini puzzle pseudo speed solve, which I realize is slightly late at the moment. Uh, depending on how uh, much time I end up with today, I will do my best to get that up today. If not tomorrow, it'll be there soon. Um, okay, so... Uh, those are all there. Also, the Daily Self, let's check the Grosses mug for benefactors, like those five people. And there's also the Daily Self Discord chat server, which I mentioned a moment ago, in which people discuss the New York Times crossword, but also other crosswords, other puzzles like Puzmo and Wordle and so on, and um, connections. And there's a link to that friendly chat community in the description field. And finally, please do consider subscribing to the YouTube channel, liking the videos, commenting. Those things are all helpful and they do contribute to the channel. So thanks if you've done this. All right, let's get on to the crossword. This is a Saturday themeless puzzle by Royce Ferguson, who's constructed a small handful of puzzles for the New York Times. And it was edited, as always, by Will Shorts. So let's start solving, see how we do. Like the Galactic Empire and Rebel Alliance in science fiction, they are enemies or foes or, uh, I don't know, sideways. If something's sideways, it's, I don't know that either. Okay. Uh, sorry, grand. Grand could be sort of epic in scope. That would fit. It could be a thousand. So I guess it could, in the sense of, of money, it could be thou. I don't know. It could be either of those things. The fairy fly, the smallest known insect in the world, is one. Interesting. I'm not familiar with the fairy fly. That's, that's interesting, whatever it is. If you took something with a grain of salt, maybe, you... I mean, <laughs> the first thing that comes to mind would be to ignore the idiom entirely, and it would simply be ate. If you ate something, you took it with a grain of salt, but I don't... I don't know if that's that's reasonable. Let's just keep going through the crosses. Dutch Golden Age painter. Um, oh, who am I thinking of here? In four letters. Oh, so it's I have something in my brain that I can't coax out to my mouth. Big blank. I don't know. Big. Boy, I'm not I'm not getting much right out of the gate, am I? Statement of admiration after someone's impressive feat. And fruit whose name is three quarters vowels. Um, fruit whose name is... Th oh, you know what it probably is? It's probably... We haven't actually seen this one in a little, in a few weeks. It's probably the acai, the official, uh, I don't know, sort of superfood of the New York Times crossword, the acai berry. I think that might be it. Let's see if we can confirm or deny that. To fall for a trick, say, and criticizing a refusal to recycle, say, scorning, criticizing a refusal to recycle. Oh, eco shaming, maybe. That could that that sounds that sounds plausible to me. Okay, so then what about this? Work in well, does that help with this? Oh, big I'm mean, big bear. That's a place in California. I mean, the problem is there's so many phrases that start with big. I just have no idea if I think that's, if I, if I actually think that's, oh, I don't think it's likely because I don't think this A would be followed by an A. Yeah. Okay. I don't think it's that. I mean, it just could be anything. 
Um, when doubled comment made with a wink. When doubled. Oh, you could say sort of hint, hint. You could, you could <laughs> stop doing that, but you could, uh, you could make a, um, you know, suggestive comment and then say hint, hint to indicate that you're intending it to be received. I don't know, euphemistically or something. Oh, big, big tech, the tech industry, maybe the sort of big tech companies. It's possible. Let's see if it gives me anything. Fall for a trick. So, oh, take the bait. There we go. That's finally something. It's a big, long, well, I guess ego shaming was also a big, long answer, but here we go. Now it feels like we've, we've crossed the, uh, sort of crossed the uh, peak of this area of the grid. Freak on a leash band. Oh, is that corn? I kind of vaguely remember corn existing. I couldn't tell you any of their songs, but I guess one of them is this. Work in progress. Uh, work in progress. And it's there by default. Something set, some sort of set. It's there by default. Oh, a preset in software, maybe. That that could be the, that could be the answer. Work in progress. Career move. You're sort of progressing from one place of work to another. Maybe, maybe. I'm not certain, but let's look at the crosses. Oh, this doesn't look very good. It may be raised at a table. Raise the ante in a, in, at a gambling table. Okay. So career. Oh, career path. Right. Okay. That that's actually better. The sort of overall progress of your career, of your, you know, workplaces, your career path. Sorry. Let me just turn my phone off. Okay. Pace is tempo. Second most frequently mentioned individual in the Quran after Jesus. Moses seems pretty plausible. Um, okay. Statement that is in fact not part of the Hippocratic Oath. Oh, do no harm. Okay, interesting. I should read the actual Hippocratic Oath and see what it literally says. Okay, they get down and dirty. Uh, roots, I guess, are literally down in the dirt, you know, roots of plants. And calm, to calm someone is to soothe them. Squash or smoosh, maybe. To squash something, to something, to press on it, to tamp on it to oh to, no yeah well, I don't know what that is hmm okay what about this likewise so do I that seems seems likely tackling group for short uh, it could be I don't know could tackling be could refer to sort of tackle in a sense of fishing or angling that kind of thing uh, I'm wondering if it's meant to be misdirecting away from tackling in a sporting context I don't know Pain and, oh, sorry, plain and blunt. I guess so do, sorry, actually I'm looking at this. So do I could be so am I. I guess I don't really have any way to know. I just, it just occurred to me that I don't necessarily have a cross for this clue. Pain, plain and blunt. Although actually and ending with an A actually seems less likely, so maybe not. Covert influencer. Oh, unconscious bias. Oh, that's, there we go. It's a nice long thing to put right into the grid. So your own sort of thoughts or assumptions might be covertly influenced. Okay. That's, that's a good clue because you think you refer, you think it's referring to a person or something like that, but it's referring to a, a kind of psychological phenomenon. All right. So likewise, so do I, there we go. That's what it is. And tackling group for short. I mean, it probably, it may end with an S. Oh, and the for short, I haven't really been thinking about that. I don't know what to do with it exactly, but I should bear it in mind. Still a contender. If you're still a contender, you're in it. You're not out of the game. So one side of a chemistry scale. Oh, acids as in acids and bases. So plain and blunt. Bald as in kind of bald truths. I don't know. I don't think that's right. An L wouldn't be likely. Oh, no, maybe, maybe this is an L. Because t defensive line, D-line, that's that's a phrase. That must be it. Maybe this is bald. Oh, that's surprising. The little prince tree. Oh, right. Baobab trees, right. I was rereading this recently in French. 
a little prince um, in my efforts to improve my French. Uh, and there are baobab trees in it. A whole bunch, lots of something. Boastful Eminem title with the Guinness World Record for most words in a hit single, 1,560. Wow, that's interesting. Um, well, I don't know. Ingredients pronounced differently in American and British English. Right, that makes me think I have lots wrong. Because the first thing that comes to mind when I see this um, is <laughs> herbs or herbs, which is a, um, yeah, which is, which is a distinction between American and British English. And I, I have to admit, I'm in this kind of weird, I, I have this with a number of words that differ between American and British English, where I kind of just say them arbitrarily differently at this point, um, because I do live in the UK and I'm not, I'm, I'm uh, it's not intentional. And I get, I just, I think my, the wires in my brain have gotten crossed. I haven't, I haven't, I don't have any English accent whatsoever. I, but um, but the, these kinds of pronunciations that aren't so much accents as much as they are, I don't know, choices about how letters are, are pronounced or not, this particular kind of thing. I don't know how you distinguish that from an accent, but it's a different phenomenon to me. Um, but anyway, that's something that I, I've, I've realized I, I do sometimes. Anyway, Dutch Golden Age painter. Uh, oh, Hals. I mean, I'm probably, Hals, I'm not sure actually how it's correctly pronounced, but that is definitely a Dutch golden age painter. Is it? Oh, I can't, I can't remember his, his given name. I mean, Jan would be, would be an easy guess. I'm trying to, I can't think though. Oh, that's definitely, it's definitely, well, I, I don't know if it's right, but it's certainly at least a possible answer. Thin cell types. That I don't know. Stuff in micro dots. Is it LSD? Is this, a th is this, I don't know the phrase micro dots. I know the term micro dose. Is that, they're probably related, I suppose. I'm not sure. Okay. Squash or smoosh, maybe. Oh, step on. Oh, to step on something. To squash it or smoosh it. Okay, there we go. Annual New Year's Day event. Some sort of, oh, a parade, a parade. And so thin stall types are I'm not sure. This looks like Beast, maybe? Statement of admiration after someone's impressive feat. What a beast? This would be... T oh, oh, cell, as in a uh, power cell, like a battery. A AAA battery is a thin battery. Okay, there we go. So, okay, what a beast. This could be the case. Yeah, if someone performs especially a, an impressive physical feat, you could maybe say that. So sideways... Oh, if a situation's gone sideways, it's gone awry. Whoops. There we go. So Grant, okay, this could be Thou. Well, let's just see. Let's just see if it works. Mm-hmm. Yep. Okay, good. It's coming together. Oh, Rose Parade. That's something. I don't remember exactly the significance of that, but it's, I honestly wouldn't even remember it. It was associated with New Year's specifically, but yeah, I, I certainly, that rings a bell. Okay. So the fairy fly, the smallest known insect in the world, is one. It must be a wasp. Okay, interesting. The smallest known insect is a wasp. I had no idea. If you took something with a grain of salt, it is eight. And then like the Galactic Empire and Rebel Alliance in science fiction at war. Okay, I wouldn't have landed on that without the crosses. Um, didn't have any guesses that were in the right direction there, but that's fine. Okay. Uh, and so these are the these are the sort of antagonistic forces in in Star Wars, of course. So boastful Eminem. To, oh, Eminem has a, I, I don't know that I even actually know this song, but I do know, I have encountered an Eminem title, Rap God. This must be the, this must be the answer. So, oh, a whole bunch is gobs. Yeah, I, I, <laughs> I realized it was going to be gobs when I put herbs or herbs in, but then I completely forgot when I got sidetracked by my, my point about that, that entry. So anyway, gobs is a whole bunch. Uh, loudly lacrimate. So la to lacrimate, I mean, you would never <laughs> say it in that way, but that would mean to cry. So if you do it loudly, you sob. So loudly lacrimates is sobs. And then boars. Um, it could be a boring, could be boring people, or it could be, 
you know, drills a hole in something. Um, I'm not sure which I think it is. What to do? An agenda. Literally, just the things to do on a given day or what have you. Something critical to have. Critical. Critical. Something critical to have. I'm not sure if it means something important or something um, offering criticism, something kind of negative or evaluative. I guess it doesn't need to be negative. High protein paste. Um, not sure offhand. Air pollution portmanteau smog. No, not smog. Um, air pollution portmanteau. What is it if not smog? It's the classic one. Uh, what's spread all over southern France? What's spread all over southern France? So I assume what this is going to be is a food. It's a, it's a spread. I, that's my guess. I mean, I guess it could be something else that you physically spread, but my guess is going to be that it's something you eat. Southern France, that's very specific regional indication. They more often would just say France or something, or, or you know, some country, but or a city name or something. Southern France, that's interesting. Uh, something critical to have. Two-ingredient cocktail usually served with an olive or lemon twist. A gin martini. There we go. I enjoy a gin martini. What's... Oh, tapenade, maybe? An olive tapenade, perhaps? Um, I didn't know that was specifically Southern French, but there's no reason I would have expressly known that. I don't know. Maybe that's common knowledge. Something cr critical to have. Oh, a must is something important to have. Okay, a must. It's, a, it's simpler than I was trying to make it in my mind. High protein paste. Oh, miso, miso paste. There we go. That, that'll be the answer, I bet. Breakout site is an escape room, maybe? Um, could be referring to the kind of modern game where you go and, and try and find your way out of a room filled with puzzles and things. Bores. Oh, snooze something. So this is going to be boring people. Going to be dull people. Snooze. I don't know exactly what it is. Oh, air pollution portmanteau. Smaze? Is that a double portmanteau? Further portmanteau of smog and haze? I don't think I know this one, but it's probably the answer. Spanish little ones. Uh, Ninos. Or, or no, I'm thinking of Italian. And I N O. Uh, I mean, it's obviously, it's a cognate. It's basically the same word. Nenes? Hands off to re... If you hand something off to someone, you re... Hands off to... Refers? I'm going to refer this to you. I'm going to hand it off to you. I think that that's at least plausible. I don't know it's the answer, but it's plausible. Kit for creative types. An art set, maybe? Still. It's, oh, if you're still, you're at rest. You're not moving. Oh, snooze fests. Okay, sure, you could refer to a person as a snooze fest. Or an event, I guess. You could say this event is a total bore. I mean, that's also fine. Life sentences. Oh, bios. In other words, sentences, text, word about someone's life, a biography. Ish. A bit, you could say. Yeah, ish, a bit. Beyond regulation, for short. In overtime. Oh, beyond regulation time in a game would be in overtime. Okay, there we go. And then rice and curry. Uh, Tim Rice or Tim Curry. Okay, so those are just two, two people, two names. And blank ginger, a.k.a. Galangal. I actually don't think I know Galangal, but it... But with that T in four letters, that really looks like a Thai word to me. I'm going to try it. Thai ginger. I mean, I think I've heard of Thai ginger in general terms. I'm not, I mean, I, am I just thinking of maybe Thai basil, perhaps? I'm not sure. Anyway, taunting cry. Nyan, uh, hmm. Taunting cry. Not sure. Launch party. NASA? I'm thinking of party not as a celebration, but rather as a group. You know, the party that launched the rocket could have been NASA, maybe, just because of that A at the end there, and they obviously launch spacecraft. Less than hardly. 
none. You could say there were hardly any. There was a very small amount, but at less than that, there were there were none. Could be. Not. I'm, I'm not completely confident about this one, but let's look at the crosses. Daughter of Catherine of Aragon. Oh, I don't think this is going to be an O. Is it Mary the First? That that I is helpful there because it lets us know. You know, it sort of reserves a chunk for the you know first, second, third. But I mean. Yeah. Anyway, <laughs> it was it was fortunate that I had the tie that I had the tie bit already, which I think at this point has been proven out to be correct. So what about this taunting cry? I still don't think I know what this is. Nah. Is that a taunt? Nah, nah. I think it's sort of nya nya. You know, sort of nya nya. That kind of sarcastic. Nah, nah. Maybe it is. Constantly posting pictures and news about one's kids on social media. Oh, no, it's, it's ha. Why didn't I think of that? Ha ha. I guess I, just, I guess I don't think of that as being the H-A-H version. I think of that as being sort of the H-A version. Okay, well, that was that was a strange oversight on my part. So this is some, it's something to do with sharing, which is what gave me that, even though I should have gotten that on my own, but I, I didn't. So constantly posting pictures and news. Sharing... Um, I don't know. I don't know what the rest of that is. What about this? Hold your horses. Easy, easy does it? Maybe. I, that, could, that could be, I could be assuming too much there. Said, oh no, this is wrong. Oh, right. Okay. It's not sharing. I figured because it said posting, it would be sharing, but it's not. So said is uttered. So share some, it's probably then ends with ing, share something, but I don't know what it is. Uh, certamente. I don't know. And then what is this? Close blank? Oh, close knit, as in a close knit group of friends, for instance. Blank punk, genre for no doubt. Ska punk, that sounds reasonable for no doubt. Ska punk. And then some Hollywood workers, abbreviation agents, so sort of uh, talent agents. And then, oh, certamente, certainly. CC, yes, yes. Okay, there we go. Takes orders. Awaits, as in waits on tables, takes orders from patrons of a restaurant, for instance. It's typically taken in the afternoon. You could take tea at tea time, which would be in the afternoon. Is that, do I think that's right? Whoa, calm down. Oh, something now. Sh oh, sharenting. Okay, that's not a word I've heard before, but I, I, it's another portmanteau here. And this, so obviously share and parenting have been turned into a portmanteau. Sharenting, which I guess means constantly posting pictures and news about one's kids on social media. Okay, well, there we go. Less than hardly. Ah, nary. Right. So, yes. Okay, so that, I was thinking none seemed, the reason, one of the reasons I didn't write it in, because it seemed a bit implausible, because none is, it's technically less, but it's, you know, it's kind of its own category of thing, which is just absolutely none. Uh, although, now that I think about it, Nary is kind of that as well. Because you said nary, nary a one, you'd mean none. Less than hardly. Can you say, is there a way to use nary that means an incredibly small number? I'm not sure. It's clearly the answer. But yeah, I'm, I'm curious about the specific usage here. Anyway, whoa, calm down. Hey, now. Oh, and look at that. We've We've come to the end of the puzzle. It snuck up on me. Wing alternatives are thighs. Uh, reason to run in circles is a meet, as in a track meet. So you're, you're you know, running a uh, foot race or something. And there we go. Okay, well, I didn't find this puzzle to be any kind of pushover, I have to admit. I thought it was, uh, I thought it was a bit tricky throughout. It was an interesting, it was an interesting one, actually. It had a, it had a very particular solving dynamic, at least for me, which is that I would get stuck in an area and then I would find something and then it would feel like I would get this big wave and I'd be pushed through. It wasn't that I was constantly stuck all the time, but I would get these sort of these sort of peaks and valleys. I'd get to the top of a of a little peak and then I'd sort of run down the hill and I'd get a few answers, but then I'd have to climb back up again. Uh, whereas sometimes you get a kind of just 
shallow incline the whole time. You're always, it's always a bit of resistance throughout, but never, never brutal resistance. In this case, I got kind of these, these peaks of difficulty, but then little bits of reward immediately after before having to climb a little peak again. That's how it felt to me solving this puzzle. Um, but it didn't feel, it didn't feel particularly easy, but it is a Saturday puzzle. So obviously easy for a Saturday is, means a different thing, but I'm curious to know now, having, having seen those comments from a couple of people in the discord, did you find this one tricky and, or not? Did you, did you find this one maybe, um, unusually approachable for a Saturday puzzle? Or did you, uh, have, have your little, little peaks and valleys like I did? I don't know. I'm, cu I'm curious to know. It was a good puzzle. I enjoyed solving it. I have to say, um, but it wasn't a, uh, it wasn't a cakewalk for me anyway, but there we go. That was the Saturday crossword by Royce Ferguson. Well done. And I'll be back tomorrow, of course, with the Sunday edition of the crossword, large grid with a theme theme returns tomorrow. Uh, midweek difficulty shouldn't be as tricky as this one. Let's find out tomorrow though. Join me then. But until that point, please do have an excellent remainder of your Saturday. Take care. Uh -huh.